Hello everyone, welcome to Jyot Softik. I'm Vikram T. Madhuri here and uh, this, would, uh, this would be the path 4 of uh, SAP FICU resume preparation and uh, we are discussing about the roles and responsibilities right now which we project in the resume actually. So we'll go ahead and uh, open the resume and uh, quickly have a review of what we have done till now. So initially in the first part we have discussed about what we have to keep in the top of the resume. We need to start it with your name Sh name should be uh, preferably in a in a higher font uh, with a larger side of size of the font and rest of all the rest of the entire resume should be of same font and uh, same uh, size and if at all if you are having the subheadings you can put a uh, you can make them bold or you can also underline them or something like that but it should always be a professional it look good and uh, we I, I also discussed that you, know, you should always have the professional kind of a fonts not just any other font like Verdina, Arial, Times Roman, Calibri so these are the fonts that we can uh, consider for a resume and entire resume should be of the same font that's very important and we just uh, you know what are the side headings that we have uh, discussed is the professional summary is the first one then we have the SAP FICO skills or you can also Tell it, uh, you can also mention it as SAP FICO expertise and then you can mention whatever the skills that you have and then we have to go ahead with the work experience whatever is your work experience that you have then you have started the uh, you have done, started mentioning about the SAP FICO projects and uh, in this FICO projects in the first project was uh, the support project in the support project we need to give some description about the project what exactly uh, is the is the project all about and uh, you can also mention something about the client like uh, one or two lines of uh, uh, you know details about the clients like what exactly how much is the turnover of that particular company and what is the size of it and what is the scope of the project you can just give a, 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 de a very brief uh, description about the client as well but uh, we always prefer to go ahead with the description about the project key deliverables where we are putting this key deliverables in the next page so understanding the process okay so these are all key things uh, these are the top points that we have mentioned here needs to be in a in, in points so we have understanding the process in the existing implementation and optimize the process wherever possible providing solutions to the day-to-day -day active tickets and coordinate with other module teams uh, to solve cross module issues it's like integration with other modules and uh, you can also mention something like uh, you know also uh, you know debugging if at all if you are if you are comfortable with debugging uh, debugging of of source code of standard programs and customized programs Customized programs are also can can also be called as Z programs. So this you have to mention only when you are comfortable with it. Otherwise, you can just ignore this uh, point. Adhering to the SLA strictly, preparing weekly uh, reports, participating in weekly reviews, in the review meetings, a workflow maintained and checked on a daily basis. And then uh, we can also you know uh, we can also mention something like you know interacting with the client if at all if you have been if you are comfortable in communicating with the client then you can see, mention something like uh, interacting with the client and end users client comma end users client comma end users uh, to update the to, to update the ticket issues so you can you can mention something like this because this is a support project you can you, know, you can talk about this and we'll have a lot of other uh, you know key deliverables that we can mention here I'm restricting it to couple of uh, uh, couple of uh, deliverables or roles and responsibilities which I feel it's uh, you know pretty common you can add few more few more points uh, from your side it's not that you have to mention only these things you can you can add a few more a uh, few more uh, points and you can also remove some uh, points which you are not comfortable with 
then you know going ahead we will be going ahead with the implementation project so this was a support project here it like it's like project name you can also mention this type of project support or maintenance support or maintenance project you can mention it as support and maintenance project because this is a support and maintenance project only so uh, do not mention both so do not mention that it's support and maintenance either mention it as support project or mention it as maintenance project so if you have maintained it as uh, mention it as maintenance project do not give it as support project now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and with the same process we need to go ahead and mention it for the next project now you can mention how many projects uh, you want according to your uh, you know um, year of uh, i mean like the number of years that you have worked in and here you can also mention this is something which is optional you can also mention something called duration and duration you can mention something like for this particular project it's something like um, jan 2018 to it's not joint 2018 it's like something like um, this, yeah joint 2018 to till date okay this is how we can mention it uh, and uh, having said this this these are all optional so you can skip certain things and uh, certain things you can also mention and in fact you can also consider mentioning the company name here but again it, it all depends on you know your choice company so the company in which you have worked at the time so it's emphasis so yeah these are all the things that you can mention here and it's completely up to you whether you want to mention certain things or you want to ignore certain things it's it's up to you now coming to the next project i'm taking the client name the client name is Colgate two thousand sixteen. Okay, so our client name is Colgate and um, Project name is Colgate India Implementation Company Vipro and uh, FSEO Associated Consultant. You can either mention any of these two, not both. Either you mention it as FSEO Associate or mention it as FSEO Consultant, but not both. And uh, type of project we need to change these things. Now, in this, like, uh, yeah, so these are the things that we have to mention here. And uh, duration would be June 2016 to December 2017. And this is an implementation project. Implementation. So in most of the interviews, they ask you whether have you worked on end-to-end uh, -end life cycle project. End-to-end -end life cycle project means we need to be working from the beginning of the project to end of the project in the implementation part, starting to end. So it will be like. Um, you know, you should be involved in all the all the uh, all the uh, all the stages of uh, the asset methodology or uh, the activate methodology that we follow. Okay, so let me align this well. Alignment and uh, you know, professional look is very important for a for, for an entire resume. Okay, now you can also move it to here should completely look professional
Okay, now here we have to go ahead with the the implementation of the project roles and responsibilities. We can say something like brief description of the project. You can go ahead with the brief, brief description of the project. You can write something like um, implementation project something like that so you can mention about the project the highlights of a project it can be one or two lines uh, use your creativity here and then and everything should be uh, you know verified and uh, make sure that whatever you mention here is uh, absolutely correct okay then we have something like the key descriptions again here you either mention it as key deliverables or roles and responsibilities but not both so don't give this you know options kind of a thing in the resume either you keep roles and responsibilities or key deliverables now here we are going to mention this in the uh, you know implementation key deliverables so in this we will we'll start we'll write something like uh, we need to uh, we need to mention all the main things from the study of uh, uh, entire business process of client related to SAP of ICO uh, and then we have you know analysis of as is document as is document of the existing existing FSEO business practices and and functionalities Preparation of to be document preparation of to be document and then we have something like configuration related to uh, configuration related to general ledger. So you should be mentioning something like this, like uh, uh, transport management and related activities, preparing, preparing, preparing the documentation for the configurations, fixing of issues raised by the testing team during the test phase and uh, during go live, and provided end user training. So these are some points you can add. And here we have this preparation of to be document and gap analysis document preparation of functional specification functional specifications can be prepared for the for the for, for the functional uh, configurations as well as for the technical team to do technical activities as well so we have all these things and it